So here's where things stand. We've got an app to let people donate snacks to penguins. We're going to use the Square API to charge for the donations. But first we need a back-end web service to manage the list of penguins, the prices, and to keep our app key private. In the last video, we took the first steps towards that backend by setting up an AWS Lambda serverless app. Now it's time to flesh it out. First up, we're going to go to the API gateway we set up and customize the routes. We start by getting rid of the default route that AWS created for us. In its place, we create a new list resource for listing the available penguins to feed. And we give it an HTTP GET method. We check the Lambda proxy box, and we route requests to our penguin feeder Lambda function. Now let's add a route for the other type of request our backend will need to handle, an attempt to charge a credit card. We'll make that a POST method, and also route it to our penguin feeder function. Before we move on, we need to take one more action to finalize these changes. We need to redeploy the API. This step is easy to miss, but our app won't work without it. Now it's time to add some code to service these routes. This is the one part of the series where we're not going to go over building the code step by step. Instead, I have some code I've already developed that I'm going to drop in here. And I'll show you the highlights as they become relevant. First off, at the top of the file, we have a hard-coded list of penguins. If we continue development of this app, we'll probably want to transition to using a database. But this list will do for now. Each list entry has properties for an ID, a name, an integer price in cents, not dollars, and a URI for the penguin's thumbnail image. Next up, we have a helper method for fetching penguin entries by their ID. The lambda handler method is the entry point that AWS uses to invoke our app. It consists primarily of an if statement that dispatches on which of the two types of request is being handled, a request to list penguins or a request to attempt a credit card charge. Today we're only going to worry about the first type, requests for a list of penguins. These requests are dispatched to the handle list method, which simply responds with the full penguin list converted to JSON format. Let's save our changes and verify that this is working. We go to the API gateway info to grab the full URL for our penguin listing resource. Then we pop over to a shell and send an HTTP get with curl. In response, we see our list of penguins with their various properties. Okay, we have a working, useful backend server. In the next video, we'll start to use this backend provided list as the source of truth for our mobile app. See you soon.